Okay, Friday, February 16th, 2024. I'm in the whitewater drainage right now. I just left the preserve about 20 minutes ago, which is just out of sight there. It took about uh, less than 15 minutes to navigate across to the junction of the Pacific Crest, and now I'm on the Pacific Crest, headed northbound. The snow is up in the Big Bear country. That's the uh, southern part of it. And I am hopefully headed up on that ridge there so I can get a look at Mission Creek drainage. Should be about six miles away. And I'll have to uh, cross Whitewater River, which is over here out of sight right now, up by a place called uh, Red Dome. Uh, the river channel has moved from where I crossed it last year, about two tenths in the direction of those, uh, that ridge up there. <clears throat> but there's some yellow top posts that uh, help you stay on track because you have to hit this uh, little valley canyon right there. So then you can work your way up and over the top and, uh, That'll intersect the West Fork Trail coming up from the Stone House and Mission Creek Preserve. I'll keep going straight on the PCT from there. And uh, get up on that ridge, and it's uh, hopefully not too far before I start to get some looks. I brought some binoculars with me, so maybe I can get a view from afar without having to walk down into that drainage so I'll have to see. Anyway, right now, temperatures in the 50s, probably gonna hit the 60s today. No wind at the moment. And uh, yeah, pretty good day for hiking. I think Coon Creek Cabin Overlook is the snow way over there somewhere <clears throat> because the trail comes up Mission Creek, which is on the other side of that ridge, and it kind of traverses this direction and then up towards the snow, and then it bends back around uh, towards Coon Creek Cabin and then northbound up towards uh, Big Bear Highway 18. junction that I just went through is right back in that little nook there coming down off of that high ridge. It's a point six from there over to the preserve. <clears throat> and uh, I did a little day hike about a month ago up here up uh, just to where the uh, trail crosses the Whitewater River. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if anything's changed in there in terms of the river path down the drainage and the amount of flow, <clears throat> which back then was, wasn't much, but we've had uh, some significant rain uh, a week or so ago. There's more scheduled early this coming week, so... That's going to add something. I'd really love to get back up in here <clears throat> in a couple of weeks or so, weather permitting, do like a two to three night backpack significantly up into the Mission Creek drainage to see how bad it is. Uh, I think the, the worst case is maybe an extra day from what I've seen and heard, but it's slow going, you know, for a number of miles. It looks like it could be a mile to a mile and a half an hour. And it's all a function of how many times you get cliffed out or whatever and have to backtrack to find a better route through. So, of course, right now, 
starting to see some hikers leave the southern terminus so <clears throat> maybe we'll get some information when they get up here it's about two weeks to get up here unless you're really moving that's what i figure it'll take me 14 15 days And it's a nice day because I'm basically in shorts and short sleeves. And even right now I'm starting to perspire a little bit, but uh, I'm bouncing along probably around a few miles an hour. Pretty friendly trail right in here. The fun, quote unquote, uh, begins up in the Mission Creek drainage up over that ridge I was pointing to. That's the part getting up toward, especially the last three or four miles up toward Mission Springs, mile 240. That's the section that I think has really gotten raked, uh, partly because of uh, it's steeper, so the water's just cruising down and taking everything in its path. <clears throat> and then when it gets down here, it's still a lot of flow, or was. So I was moving boulders and debris. And center frame over there is the river. You can kind of see the, the uh, drainage area. Although this is all, I guess, technically drainage. Uh, but doesn't look like the Hillary storm really came over this far right in here anyway. This plane widens out. So it uh, <clears throat> had fun over that way. Well, through this whitewater basin and actually the uh, lower part of the Mission Creek drainage, the, the trail is not very much uphill, but it is up. So over enough miles, and you'll have done a little more work than you would have if it was flat. Well, one of my least favorite plants, and it's around in this drainage for sure, is this cat's claw. And I don't know if you can really see it, but on all of those branches are these little tiny, very sharp hook-like projections. And they will definitely tear fabric and open skin up if you hit it hard enough. Trucking poles really help to push it out of the way, dance around it. All right, uh, PCT comes up to the right of that knob and then comes back around the upper face and then basically pretty close to the top before it drops over through a little kind of valley zone. Eventually you go around the Cirque and then up and then you're on that ridge before it drops down into the Mission Creek drainage. Okay, well, I do believe that is Red Dome. It's not a very big dome, but it is red, and it looks like a dome. But this is the first good look at the whitewater drainage. The river is uh, over on the other side right now. Hillary changed it when I came through last April. It was running right through here, and it was moving. Uh, crotch deep, trekking poles, very careful. Uh, very easy to have been swept. I don't think you would have died, but you might have been scraped up and, and wet. But yeah, that's where I crossed, right there. It was uh, definitely exciting. Every step counts. All right, so from here, <clears throat> there is a yellow-topped post right there. So I'll aim for that and then look for the next one. I think there are two or three. 
that uh, get you over to uh, where I'll be crossing the uh, river and coming up this little valley before I go up over the top of this knob. <clears throat> and that's the ridge. I'm hoping to get somewhere up in there. And if I'm lucky, I'll have a good look down into Mission Creek with the binos. Otherwise, I'll have to maybe go a little farther. All right, here we go. It is 9.50, so 50 minutes from the preserved parking lot to here. Not too bad. Trail is very friendly today. And there are lots of areas, like right here, you could definitely put a tent up there. Uh, make your own little place. Cowboy camp just about everywhere. At least while the river has taken a different path. I would say though, if coming through here and there's a big atmospheric river storm pending, I would think twice. That could really be risky. Uh, when Hillary came through here, this was not walkable, at least not and survive it. So there you go. And it's a great example of how these uh, drainages uh, slow you down. You, you just can't be cruising through here at the same high speeds. Got to watch where you're stepping and well, look at it. I mean, <laughs> there's sort of, there's really no trail through here. There's just these markers. So uh, this won't last too long, just uh, to the base of that knob there. Ah, okay, well, actually, I stand corrected. There, there's the trail right there. So uh, when I came across from that uh, dry crossing back there, I probably should have walked up the drainage just a little farther, and then I probably would have seen something. But I was aiming for this post. So anyway, that would be the way to go to uh, continue a good pace. Otherwise your speed will probably have. So there's, a, I can see a couple more yellow top posts ahead. One to the left of this big flat rock and one right over the top in the distance. And that'll get me up into that little valley. All right, well, here's the uh, other marker I was looking at a minute ago. And there's one right there. Probably doesn't show up on video, but it's there. I can see it. So, uh, Whitewater River, definitely crossable. Really muddy, though. Probably from uh, all that rain we had last week. So, I would imagine a pre-filter, a bandana or something would be the thing to do so your filter doesn't clog up too quickly. It's going to clog up anyway, even with a pre-filter, but it'll take longer. All right, let's uh, ford this creek. And of course, as I go to ford, I'm cliffed out right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's about, oh, I don't know, 8 to 10 feet. I could go back down that way and up. I think if I just kind of walk around this little Nolan Ridge, I think there's a place I'm going to go see. If not, I'll go back, but I am crossing somewhere. And this is the issue, as far as I can tell, with the upper part of the Mission Creek drainage. It's just washed out, cliffed out here and there. Eventually, people will go through and probably set up cairns and stuff, so it'll be a little easier to navigate. But initially, I suspect there'll be some time spent figuring it out. Yeah, look at this. Look at this cliff here. I'm not going to get too close to the edge. It looks crumbly. So, since the uh, post is center screen way over there. I'm going to follow this up over to this rock pile here. Hopefully there'll be a 
easy way down and across. Might actually be, I don't know if there's another cross right on the other side there or not. Looks like this is the main one. The snow of Big Bear, or at least close. All right, so uh, the cliff is still in full force here. So I'm gonna have to go up here, right over to this area in here, where I can get down and across. So I might uh, put a cairn or two up here for future reference. All right, I came past that little uh, dead tree marker that I just put up over here, and then came down here and uh, came up on the bank, but really it looks like just come down the drainage here just around the corner, and then you can cross and head up the valley. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I came down in the direction of the camera here, around this little lucky point. Now I'm gonna go find a crossing. I'll be right straight ahead. All right, there's that rocky point I just walked around out here. Cross through about calf deep. You can feel the flow, but just take your time. I didn't feel any big sinkholes or big rocks, so it was pretty easy. Definitely wet feet though. All right, let's get it on. Between the Cairn building and whatnot, that was probably 10 or 15 minutes right there. So, and you can see how the uh, river just cut that bank away. And you could down climb it, I'm sure, if you really had to, but hey, don't ask for injuries. And after crossing, there's another uh, decent bank of four to six feet or so. So I'm gonna come up here to the base of this hill and hopefully that'll be, uh, I can transit there, start at the valley. Yeah, this is gonna be good here. Looks like somebody put something up there. It does not look natural. Maybe it's a little campsite, who knows? Let's go see. And uh, no sooner did I come up that little bank and there's a yellow post right there. That's the trail. Get out of this uh, drainage rock fest. It is seriously slow going. All right, onward. And it is now 1023, uh, so that's an hour, 23 minutes from the preserved parking lot to get up the whitewater drainage and cross it and start up uh, on the ridge and all that stuff headed toward Mission Creek. So the net time would be 10 or 15 minutes quicker than that. So I'm gonna say an hour, 10 minutes maybe moving. Not too bad. I haven't seen anybody else yet since I left the preserve trails, but it's still uh, early on a Friday. I would think I'd see a few people on the way back. Maybe.
All right, looking back southbound, it's uh, San Jacinto. Uh, so Red Dome is a little blip in the center of the drainage, and the trail goes right base of that rock there, comes down the valley. And it looks like another wooden post right in there. Definitely going up. Sorry, I'm panning around a little bit. All right, definitely not going up any of that. I just came from down there, a little valley. And uh, I think the trail is going to traverse across this ahead of me eventually. Sometimes I get the spots mixed up. I'm not walking this every day, of course, fortunately. All right, the first serious switchback. Getting up there. I'm uh, feeling stronger coming through here in a month or two with my full kit on my back. Hey, 10.50 minus 10 minutes for trail markings. So that's an hour 40 from Whitewater Preserve to up here. And now we're gonna come down here. The West Fork Trail should go down that drainage there. I've never been on it, but I'll past the junction down there in that valley. And then I'm gonna be going around and up in this cirque that's loops back up and around the ridge and ends up on top where I'll walk along that ridge looking for my first good view of Mission Creek drainage. All right, so far so good. And uh, my Strava app says three and a half miles to here. And about the same time, so that's good. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, these early season training slash shakedown hikes, backpacks. Uh, it all pays off if you do enough. But uh, <clears throat> I'm really not the kind of person who likes to just exercise for the sake of exercise. So there's got to be something that it's uh, couched in that makes it interesting. So this is this little sort of mini valley in between the uh, little hump I just came up over from Whitewater. And uh, eventually the trail is going to kind of traverse and drop down into center frame there. And it's going to come up on the back side of the ridge, sort of in front of me. It's hard to see it because they all blend to each other, but eventually it will turn to the right and come up a valley 
right below that high ridge. And that's what I kind of call this cirque because you take a big arc around as you work your way up to the top of the ridge, uh, center frame. All right, here's the junction, as the sign said, to the stone house, that direction. And that is uh, a legit kind of trailhead, even though it's probably another, it's a couple miles to the stone house, another mile to the actual lock gate. But if you have the combo or something, you can drive up. I've seen cars at the stone house. So from here, you're two miles to probably somebody with a car. There's definitely uh, Mission Creek down there, so there's water. Um, the last water I crossed was white water. So this is all dry through here. And it's not until you get up on top of that ridge and drop down into Mission Creek on the Pacific Crest Trail that you would have water again. Anyway, I've never been down that West Fork Trail, but uh, looks pretty good from here. So uh, about a month ago I did drive over into the lock gate off of Highway 62, Mission Creek Road, dirt road. Parked my car, walked up the mile to the stone house, and then I continued up the Mission Creek drainage instead of coming up the West Fork to here, because I was trying to see if I could get decently close to where the Pacific Crest intersects Mission Creek. It's on the other side of that ridge up there. Um, and it just got to be, you know, a lot of bouldery drainage, slow stuff. So, um, I just saved that for another time, but, uh, I was trying to see what kind of damage Hillary had done. And, uh, I think I would have had to go significantly much, uh, farther northbound up that drainage on the Pacific Crest to really see a lot of it. Eventually I'll see it. Might not be till late April, but at some point. So let's see, from here I'm coming up this valley and then making sort of a ride up the next valley and then circling around on this uh, big U uphill up to uh, somewhere on that ridge. And then uh, eventually I'll be walking along that ridge before I turn around and come back since this is just a day hike. All right, this is the beginning of this I'm calling the Cirque. The trail's gonna come up, 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 loop back around and up over this knoll. So, and then eventually it'll be up on that high ridge up there. With any luck, I'll be there too. All right, so we're coming up here, up toward the end, and then we're switch backing up along here. All right. At 11.46, so I'm at the uh, 
top part of the steeper part of that cirque and uh, still got to traverse a bit and just kind of get up. That's pretty much the top. There's a great little campsite lunch spot. Anyway, that's the uh, Coachella Valley, I think. Yeah, because there's San Jacinto staring at me and Whitewater is right down there. A little bit of a breeze up here, not much though. Good day for walking on dirt. Uh, let's see if I can't get up to that one spot. All right, so there's my little lunch spot here in a few minutes. And then I'm gonna do ridge walking up here. And I'm hoping somewhere in there, I'll get to look down onto Mission Creek. So that's pretty much all I'd intended to do today. It'll still be, you know, 13, 14 miles round trip. Yeah. Mm, oh boy. That's the Mission Creek drainage. Down in there. Yeah, yeah the lower end of it, that's anywhere near this PCT. But there's a dirt road you can drive up, which I did to the lock gate and then walk up to the stone house. That West Fork Trail comes down this uh, canyon right below me and ends up down in that drainage. All right. That's the uh, majority of the work for the day. <sighs> ah, Mission Creek, Coachella Valley, Palm Springs, San Jacinto. San Bernardino Wilderness. And my lunch rest stop. After which, I'm going to be trying to get in somewhere over there. I hope I get a view. And it's pretty much exactly noon time. So that was three hours less, maybe 10 minutes from Whitewater Preserve Parking to here. And I think I'm going to guess about. Let me see how far it is. Hang on. 5.75 miles per Strava. And I'll uh, give you the PCT mileage uh, from 218 plus 0.6 from the preserve to PCT mile 223.5 according to far out. So, all right. Let's eat. All right, first view of Mission Creek drainage. Uh, the PCT intersection, I believe, is right down that ridge. And then it comes, just all the way to the river at that point. And then you come up alongside of it and eventually you get up to the first crossing. Um, I think I can barely see it. Um, get the binoculars out. It, I was curious to see if the the tree, the small little trees and whatnot were still there. If that's what I'm looking at, the answer is going to be no. <laughs> it 
it's all been scoured. Okay, let me get the binos out, take a closer look. I'm pretty sure I can see the trail switchbacks come down. So, I think that's I kind of where I am. <clears throat> so I may not have to go much farther. In fact, this is probably the best view here. I'm standing at uh, PCT northbound mile uh, 223.8. Um, the intersection of the uh, PCT coming down this ridge and intersecting the uh, road coming up Mission Creek is, I think, 225.7. I'm going to take a shot at that. <clears throat> and it's not very far up to that where those little trees and all those little campsites were. I'm going to say, oh boy, maybe a half a mile, if even that. It should be the location of that, uh, those trees and whatnot should be right about center screen. As you can see, there is not much in that drainage right now except rocks and a stream. I think it was uh, basically bank to bank during the Hillary event. All right, there's a little tree right there, and then right there, the trail, just barely see it as it comes out, crosses right in here. So, yeah, I don't think there's much left. I think there's, there'll be lots of camping spots, but uh, the little trees and all that stuff, I think, has been washed away. So that's kind of the start of the carnage zone. So it winds up that valley and wanders around and then finally goes up, way up, somewhere up there at a mile 240, Mission Springs. <sighs> so that's a long five, six miles should be interesting. All right, I'm gonna head back. Oh, that's the whitewater drainage. It's pretty scoured there too. I am headed eventually right there, I think is where the trail should be crossing to the other side of the uh, drainage and head back down to the Whitewater River. Valley, come around the corner, down that cirque, down around, and then behind this hill, right down there. Pretty much all downhill, uh, except for this little mini valley in between the two drainages. Uh, southbound now and headed back. Alright. Yeah, Jacinto definitely got some snow and a little bit more to come this week. All right, I've come back down to the uh, Whitewater River crossing here. And uh, right over there is the uh, dead limb that I stuck between some rocks. And right there about is the yellow top post. So I'm gonna go around this corner, get up on the uh, flat spot and walk my happy rear down there. Oh, I see somebody coming at me. Interesting. All right, so there's the uh, marker right there. So yeah, uh, when I came uh, northbound, I should have maybe come up in this direction a little bit farther. And then uh, you can pick up the, uh, the next blaze right there. 
So.